Hi everybody, this is Octavio, and today I want to talk to you about all the times that we're living now, about lies, about confusion, and misunderstanding about the facts. No, I'm not talking about Donald Trump campaign, I'm talking about fitness. All the media and all the newspapers and all the magazines that tell you that you can do exercise just 25 minutes and you're going to have a super body, all these kind of DVDs that tells you that doing lifting this hard or this intense in 25 minutes or an hour is going to get you a super body and things that are just a fantasy, they're just a lie. Fitness and exercise has been the same for thousands of years. The facts of how you gain muscle, how you lose fat are the same. We have been proving through the years, I've been in, the, in this industry for 40 years, uh, they have been proving to give you a better result or to give you less injuries in the exercise or in the type of, of trend that you are, uh, you are performing at the gym. So, all these fantasies are buying you a lie and people who are weak people who are lazy, people who doesn't want to work and put some uh, thought and put some effort to work out are the ones to believe and are the ones to buy this kind of crap. So exercise has been for many years uh, something that you have to think and you have to be careful when you're doing it. Very sad for me to see what is has been happening here in the United States for the last 16 years or 70 that I moved here. I don't know in Mexico how things they are. But everybody, everything, all the companies has condensed all the war, all the people, and lose uh, group exercise managers, uh, personal trainer managers, and people who should be checking and all the instructors and all the trainers about the performance, about the, the quality, about the uh, ex expertise, they're gone. There's no more of that because everybody at all the gyms, they don't want to pay good money for people like me who has been in this industry for 35 years. Um, I've been working, or I've worked for Bali's for 11 years, and I was making good money by that time. And then Bali's got uh, bought uh, from uh, LA Fitness and when they want to rehire me and they have these new companies saying that uh, cheap is better and things like that and they wanted to offer me $16 for an hour of training when I was making $70 an hour in Bali's 11 years ago or they wanted to give me $12 for teaching an aerobic class that's so unfair so this part of stupidity in the health industry and in your gyms and in your classes and with your trainers it's part of the fault of what is going on with these companies that they just want to pay cheap they don't want to pay they don't want to hire me because I know too much or they don't want to hire new good trainers because they, they want to get paid a little more so that's why you see in your classes in gold gym Hollywood especially that's the one that I go you see classes that they suck. Some of the trainers, some of the instructors, they don't even warm up. The first five minutes, they're already jumping and doing things that I'd never seen before. I don't know where they got that kind of course of training. Um, and I'm sorry, but if you're a trainer and if you're an instructor, come on guys, you have to play the part. You have to look a little bit fit and you have to look, you have to look clean. I've seen instructors and trainers with the same t-shirt that they wore last week, yellow from their armpits, or their pants dirty, or in the middle of their ass, not well groomed, and they just look that just get up from bed and come to you. That's really sad. I've been also going for the last 30 years uh, to get continued education in the World Fitness Convention, and I've seen a change in all of the industry where you know this this kind of conventions uh, combine group exercise instructors aerobics uh, trainers um, yoga instructors trainers like I said and, and owners and 
they show some classes and they have workshops and they show some trends. Some they're good, some they're not. Uh, some they are the same, like Zumba that I've been teaching. I mean, I taught Zumba 28 years ago. Uh, it's nothing new, don't believe about, about that. And showing these kind of crazy classes that you can get hurt if you don't know the basic of exercise. So all this crazy PX91 and 25 minutes workout and just people saying on the background and well paid, oh, I don't have the time to do exercise. Oh, just 25 minutes, that's it, that's enough. That's a fucking lie. You mean that all this body that I've been working for 40 years, I've been wasting my time, I just should buy this DVD and for 25 minutes, three times a week, I will get this in this shape. Come on, guys, that's crap. You have to make sure that who are you going to choose for your trainer? You need to choose your trainer as your primary physician. We can look very fit, but we can be very stupid. We can be very unprepared. We can not learn. Of we, if we don't have that gift to, to teach how to teach posture how to teach breathing, how to teach a correct exercise, because we haven't gone through that course, and we think because we are young and we look good because we are 25 years old, uh, we're doing things right, we are not. Fortunately, like I said, I've been in this industry for 40 years, and I hear and I see things that sometimes I just box my mind. People, trainers that they just talk the whole hour or they're looking at their phone, when they say just oh, do 20, or some trainers that in Gold Gym, Hollywood, they are eating and they are giving orders, training three clients at the same time, drives me nuts. Uh, also, if you notice some of the classes and most of the gyms, aerobic classes, the step classes are gone. Why? Because you have to be really a good teacher to teach a step class. The other classes that they are in the uh, schedule, they are just like recipes and mixes that you can do five steps in five minutes and then you repeat over and over things like that. So if you haven't noticed that, and if you have people like that training you or taking the class, that's kind of weird. If the trainer or the instructor at least doesn't have a decent shape, how am I gonna believe that guy about teaching me about fitness? about teaching me about being uh, serious about uh, committing to yourself to get in shape, to be in shape. I've seen some aerobic instructors in this sports gym that they are out of breath, they're out of shape, they can even do the class and they're just giving orders, giving the high impact exercises to these people. And the people doesn't know. And like I said, the fault is because now all the, gym, all the gyms, Gold Gym, uh, LA Fitness, uh, Equinox, uh, you name it, they don't want to pay somebody who knows really what they're doing and for their knowledge. They don't check anybody. So your classes and your trainers, if they suck, you don't even know. But if you are the one who also wants somebody to just to chat, uh, well, that's your problem too. If you don't know who is your trainer, if you don't know what he has done in his life, what are his credentials, what he has done just besides lifting weights to uh, diversify his knowledge, um, I think the problem is you. Um, if you ask, and if you go to my website, octaviofitness.com, and you see all the people who give me comments about my training, Everybody agrees about the knowledge and the respect that I have for you as my client. I'm not going to be on the phone talking to you. I'm not going to be looking at the, at the watch, trying to see, oh my God, I'm on, what time I'm, I'm, I'm going to finish. And not be 100% in you and trying to think about things that you can do and modify things. This is what is just very shocking and sad for me. Everybody can say, I'm a trainer and I'm an I'm instructor. And some, they don't play the part. And some, they don't have even the knowledge. So like I said, media and TV and magazines uh, 
like Helen, Phil, Helen Fitness Magazine that sells you the same shit, the same five minutes workout apps and a sculpt your body for summer just in three days. Come on guys, that's not happening. That's not gonna ever happen. And I'm here living proof of all the time that I have spent in my body and in my life doing sports. So if you have a chance and you have a little more time, think and find a trainer who is knowledgeable. Find your trainer as the same way you find your primary physician. If you have the time, go to my website, octaviofinance.com, and on my social media, Twitter, uh, Facebook, uh, and Instagram, and see how much knowledge I have. Don't waste your money. And if you want to waste your money and have a, a body to chat and spend the time, well, that's your problem again. If you want real facts, if you want to re have real benefits in your body, check who is training with you. So, see you next time. Thank you. Bye.